Hey there, this is English Pick here. This is take two of this because for some reason the first time it didn't work. This is a whole video. There is going to be one of my famous rant videos coming after this uh, because once again a couple of charity shops have pissed me off. So I feel I need to vent about it because uh, I'm sure you guys understand. Um, so that will be coming up soon, so that's separate. This is going to be a whole video. Um, I'm sat down enjoying a nice cup of tea. I'm going to show you guys what I picked up. Okay, so a couple of things. First thing I picked up, well, first thing I'm going to show you anyway. Board game, new and sealed. I paid $1.99 for it. It's Coronation Street DVD game. This will sell for about 10 quid. Pick up new and sealed stuff all the time. Now, this one's a bit weird. This is a new and sealed Monopoly. I saw it and I was like, ooh, new and sealed Monopoly. But when I saw the price, I was like, oh, I don't know about that. 9.99 because I'm a bit tight and I don't like paying much for stuff but this one is different it's a city of Legos I'm probably butchering that edition I want to say Legos for some reason um, these um, region specific um, monopolies do quite well I've sold a Birmingham monopoly before and that was open but it was sealed inside but it was still open and that went for £45, so um, this one I'll probably price high, 49.99, 59.99. It would have helped if it was in the UK, but it is unusual, and now with a global shipping programme, who knows? But for a tenner, I wasn't going to pass that up really. Um, I picked up this book, it's uh, Hinduism, uh, I can't talk today, I do apologise, for dummies. Um, this sells for around 10 quid. Uh, these, the more niche versions of the For Dummies series sell better things like beekeeping for dummies and things like that because the the train yourself on computer ones are just worth nothing. Uh, but this was 50p, so happy days on that. Uh, for 95p, I picked up this new and sealed BBC Grumpy Old Men audio sort of book, I guess. Um, that'll go for strangely about eight nine pounds and that was 95p so uh, next thing I picked up was from my favorite place the British Heart Foundation I got these next two items from there worms for the PS1 um, it's missing the the insert the cover art but it's got the manual just there and the CDs are right but I like including worms in with the PS1 when I sell it um, because people get nostalgic and think, oh, get a PS1 with worms, because a lot of people used to play that. Also, when I was there, I picked up these hideous jeans. They are Ed Hardy jeans. Look at this monstrosity. Uh, like, this is a pair of men's jeans. I don't know any bloke who's going to walk around with that on their arse. Size 36, I think, 36 or 38, and I paid 5.49, but I probably will get about 20 quid for those, because uh, they're, they're brand new. I mean, they're just, there's no wear on them at all. So, ah, uh, punt, I'm doing well on uh, uh, jeans at the moment. Um, went to CEX, and I picked up this. Uh, it's a, it was a new and sealed uh, nunchuck, uh, official nunchuck. Um, but bizarrely enough in CEX I got talking to the guy and he said that they can't sell anything that's new and sealed so if you trade in the game that's new and sealed they they unseal it and unseal it at the side and then put it on the shelf which is dead weird I don't know why it's some because they're technically a second hand shop I don't know whether it's a tax thing or so this was sealed but he busted open the seal and I was like oh anyway I still bought it for five quid um, because it is new, uh, so it's new and open box. So I'll sell this on eBay. Most of this stuff's going on eBay. Some bits I'll keep myself. None of it's really Amazon worthy. So, yep, yeah, I'll get about 10. T Some people are getting up to 15 quid for those, bizarrely enough. Um, and then also, while I was there, I picked up Star Wars Republic Commando. I've never played on this before, so I'm going to have a go. And it was three quid. This sells for about six to eight, so I'll play on it and then move it along. Then, uh, from two different places, I picked up these. 
I picked up Sims 2. Joe told me about these, that the actual Sims, not the expansion packs, are selling for the right money. Paid one ninety nine, but I'd got this earlier on in the day for one fifty. Sims 3, this sells for about 10, or this sells for about uh, 8 quid, I think. But I've got a, I picked up a Sims 1 the other day, so I'm going to put it as a bundle, 1, 2, and 3. Perfect bundle item there. Probably get about 20 quid uh, on eBay. Then, from another place, I picked up this, which is a promotional uh, Xbox 360. It's, it's a football game, but... I'll get a bundle of these, I've got a few of these promotional only ones together so I'll do those a bundle. Um, I've got these two here, this is another perfect bundle. Two audiobooks by the same author, just there. I paid one ninety five each, which is a bit of money but uh, realistically this will go for about uh, 15 quid, so that's good. Okay, so the next couple of bits, I picked up this. Now this is unusual. It caught my eye. It's cast aluminium on a marble base, and it says there's a label underneath which someone's tried to pick off. Probably someone who works there. Uh, Hoselton sculpture made in Canada, and I paid three pounds for it. These sell for about fifteen to twenty pounds. Um, so yeah pretty cool but um, yeah I might keep it for a bit because it's quite cool and then I'll move it along at some point and then the last two items you'll see these in the rant video I came across a stash of Dreamcast games and I picked these two up now the rant video will go into more details but basically these are the two I picked out Quake 3 Arena and Headhunter which I've never heard of so I paid three ninety nine for Headhunter and two ninety nine for Quake Three. I'll probably play on them and then move them along. I'll make a profit on both of them when they sell them, but um, I need to get back into playing on the Dreamcast. And uh, th that's that. So I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, I picked up a HP fifteen for four quid as well. Uh, just a few other odds and sods, really, nothing major. So that's it, everyone. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.